Welcome back to Fun Media and today with Pinnacle Studio 24 Timit we're gonna have a little look at motion tracking. So I'm gonna work on this little clip here and just gonna go get the hand right here. I'll cut that. So I'm not gonna take a too long clip. So the rendering is going to be short for the purpose of this tutorial, make it make it a little shorter. I'm just going to make my hand move one time. If I like that, that's, that's long enough. So I'll get rid of that and we're going to work on this little clip right here. So of course there is more than one way to do motion tracking. Uh, that's not the one I'm gonna work today but if you double click and go in your properties select your object you have your keyframes here so you can reposition uh, what you want to follow like frame by frame by frame with working with this little tool scale mode you just position the thing and do it frame by frame but let's say you don't have a lot of time and you would like to make it shorter so I'll just make sure this clip is selected and you have this little tool here called motion tracking so the motion tracking it's not a hundred percent perfect depending of what you want to follow uh, keyframes always better it goes a hundred percent where you want your thing to be but sometimes this motion tracking is doing really good job so we'll, we're, we're not doing a mask right now let's go and follow object then you have your tracker, select the tracker, it, all the thing here appear. And then I'd like to the tracker to follow this part of my hand. Make sure the color is different from your background so Pinnacle has easier time trying to follow. Uh, you have your add clip here. So uh, I could go maybe in a basic shape. and like this little thing looks like a magic ball so I'll just grab it drop it here then it's appearing here so I'd like it to be here this distance from my hand and then you have this little button here track select ob selected object so I'll click on it so I have 93 frame make sure this these one go to 93 if it doesn't go to whichever number of frame you have it means that your tracking has been lost during the process so I'll just play to see if it's working there you go it's following my hand so I'll just click OK and there you go it, it has just appear a new layer and this is the layer from my magic ball so you, you could do tons of thing uh, I've been practicing with the with a green screen but after that I would have to give you a green screen tutorial but uh, just to show you I mean it's there's tons of things that you can do I had this super cool magic ball so you can follow take it uh, in your motion tracking here see it was here so I mean, it's pretty easy, pretty easy to do. So if you like it, please uh, like the video, subscribe. It's always uh, good for us. And I will be talking talking to you next time. Thank you.